okay year eight the next step is to rub out your grid lines make sure that you get rid of those carefully okay because we don't want them showing through your painting and sadly if you leave them in they will just show through the paint watercolors are very transparent so anything that is underneath will show so just carefully rub out that line. You have to draw back in any lines that obviously you rub out. And just making sure that you go back over everything. Tidy it all up. Make sure everything's really clear so you know what you're drawing. It also gives you an opportunity to fix any errors that you might have made. But I think the bat is pretty much good enough for me to then start the next step. So once you've done that, you can start your watercolour work. So you're going to need your watercolours. You will need a pot of water and a paintbrush. Your paintbrush must have a really good tip to it, okay? Really, really important. When you get it wet, it should come together nicely. This one's pretty good, it's not brilliant, but um, make sure it's got that nice tip. Okay, so when I paint, I tend to, as I do when I draw, I start in the top right-hand corner, sorry, left-hand corner, every time I say this wrong, left-hand corner and I work down, that means I'm not smudging, I'm not getting paint all over my hands. With watercolor, we're looking for a smooth finish and we're doing washes. So the way we're gonna achieve that is by having fluid paint, so enough water in it that it's fluid, but not so much it's gonna puddle all over the page. Lichtenstein's work is also very vibrant. So I'm looking for that vibrancy of color. So we need quite a lot of pigment with just enough water. So I get off any excess onto your palette. We don't want it puddling, as I said. And when you paint, I tend to hold my paintbrush on the metal bit because that gives me the best control. This is the, I always call it the nose of my paintbrush and this is the tail. We want our tail to follow our nose, okay? So making sure that it always goes in that direction because if you push your paintbrush, all the bristles have a tendency to separate, okay? So try and always go in the same direction, sideways or nose first, okay? Um, if you find you get little puddles, you can either pick it back up with a paintbrush or a little tissue can, um, can fix that. Just knock off any excess that you do have onto the side of your water pot or onto your palette, remember. Okay, so I'm looking for a nice, smooth, vibrant finish. Carefully thinking about where my colour gets placed. We don't want it going in the wrong place. If you accidentally go into an area that is going to be black, that is not the end of the world, okay? But if you go into one of the other areas, it is a little bit more of an issue. So please be careful making sure that you are very controlled with your paint. Don't want to see any white gaps. And do make sure you've mixed up enough paint, ideally, for the whole of the colour you're doing. It doesn't matter so much with the yellow because you haven't mixed it, it's just straight out of the palette. But when you come to the skin tone, actually it is going to be an issue if you don't have enough.
Okay, so when it comes to the skin tone, I'm going to teach you how to mix the colour for that. Okay, so we've been using red and yellow. What you're actually just going to do is mix a little bit of that red into your yellow, and you probably need to up the quantity that you have because we, it's going to have to go quite a long way. So lots of yellow, a little bit of red. So you're creating an orangey colour. And then I'm going to put some white into it. And that's just going to kind of dull it down. And I'm just going to test it on the bottom of my page and see how that turns out. I think it needs just a little bit more wet into it. Better. And I'm going to add a little bit of water because this is quite a pale colour because of the dots, which we call bende dots. Um, Lichtenstein used those to make his work look like it was created on a, like a newspaper is created or a comic is created um, on the news presses where it's all done with dots because it saves ink. So he was recreating that in his work here. So I'm going to paint very smoothly. skin tone. Try and keep it nice and even. So if you go over some of the areas that are going to be black, that is absolutely fine. Make sure that white swish is left. That's really, really important. is all of the area, oh no it's not, there's a bit of mist down here, uh, all of the areas of painting completed. The next stage is going to be using your fine liner to fill in the black areas and I will share with you a video how to do that. So success criteria on this, nice smooth painting, vibrant colours, trying to match your colours well with the Lichtenstein image that you are working from. Okay.